guys and guys. Welcome back to Epic Shrap City. Um, today I just wanted to show you how I traded the British pound Japanese yen this week. Um, let's first start off with this was my analysis on the weekend um, saying that I think price is in this consolidation phase, in this ranging phase. So my analysis was that price is just gonna um, tap up from here. It was the possibility that price would obviously go down to the lower side tapping this liquidity but my, my feeling was that price is still going to stay in this consolidation phase. So what happened on Monday? Monday um, basically price shot up and Tuesday made another bullish candle. Today we are still in that um, bullish candle and uh, you know, currently <coughs> this bullish candle is looking very good. So um, let's head down to the one hour time frame and then I can explain to you how I entered my trades um, for this pair. This okay, now looking at the hourly time frame, um, I've put in my vertical lines for the days. So, sorry, let me just highlight this one better. Okay, make it full. Um, so we're looking at Tuesday. So Monday came and then I was what I was looking at is this area over here for liquidity. So I was waiting for price to break above that area to retest not not break below that again. So you can see price came down and it came up and it um, basically broke that area. It, it ran into that liquidity, came down to retest it, and then it started moving up again. Now, I did not enter on that movement to the upside because I was waiting for more confirmation. And that confirmation came with this candle, this bearish candle in between the bulls right there. Okay, let me just highlight that candle for you and I want to show you something. So, I highlighted that candle. And I basically took the center of it to 50%. Let's just make it like that. And look at that. So basically, I entered on that candle over here. And um, even if you take, <coughs> excuse me, if you take your Fibonacci, you will see as well what I was looking at. Uh, two confirmations. So I took my Fibonacci from the low to the high. Okay. And I was waiting for that area between the 70% and the 79%. That key area. So even though I can take that off, this was the area I was highlighting for my entry, right there. And look at that drawdown, there was none. So basically, let's take that off. So I entered there and I had a nice 82 pip run on that buy. <clears throat> the reason I put my stop loss up there, again, let me show you. So if I take my Fibonacci and I run it from the low to the high, this is where I entered, right here. And price shot up. This was normal first take profit. You, you you take off from your trade yeah so you enter with a lot size you you take some of it off it's your second entry or your second um, target basically on your 50 percent and then this was my initial target the big one at the top so every time you just scale down on your trade take a little bit off and uh, leave the rest to run but i mean i was very confident in this trade going up to the upside so um what else did I want to say? So basically coming out that trade, I wanted to say something else about that trade, I can't remember now. <laughs> so um, the, the day went on, so that was an 80 odd pip trade. So price started consolidating. Yes, it did take out um, some liquidity at the top here. But again, you know, you wait for your confirmation. So took out liquidity, came to the bottom. And uh, just wanted to show you here. Uh, So basically, liquidity run, took out liquidity. So we had both sides of the liquidity 
so and I, and I was waiting just for that confirmation and uh, you can see over here price starting to move up because you have this little bit of liquidity because price came down came up started consolidating or um, ranging in the hourly in this and then price knocked up and then came down and this is where I took it look right there <clears throat> So this is a, a relatively earlier entry. I will show you now a better one. But um, as soon as price made this nice little, I call it a tweezer little bottom. But I mean, I could see that price was not going to go past that entry. So this is why I entered. But just want to show you a better one. So you had this big run to the top, right? And then price retracted all the way and then price came up again and then from here on it made a continuation so this was the actual trade that i should have taken it's a more risk-free trade because you can see the continuation that's going to happen price moved up came down and then a lot of times people will start selling off because price make that huge pullback but again um, it just showed you that price started carrying on and right here look at that anywhere in the zone from your 62 percent to your 79 percent that's a very nice area to enter but i mean this time price just tapped it tapped that area once it came to a second tap and then that third tap i mean that's just it shows you it's a strong area and then that's also move up but um, <clears throat> again, let me just show you. I think my entry was right about here. What am I doing? There you go. So you can see, scaling off the trades. I've actually got a little one running still because I think it's still going to go up and carry on up but I mean that already is another 70 odd pip trade so guys this is this is just for the one pair that I did I'll make some more videos on the other pairs that I that I traded this week but this is just a short little video just to show you the way price moves so looking at my analysis um, I'm just looking at the direction that I feel or uh, analyze and I, you know, I can see the direction, um, you know, but again, it's an analysis, but it comes down to this, it comes down to the hourly and even, even five minutes. Um, I scalp on the five minutes, I, my entries are on the five minutes, but I mean, this is the hourly, you look at it and this is how you trade. And uh, so, yes, you can see again, enter with your trade, first target second target third target look at how price rebounces or bounces off that third target went up came down came down again um and then just start pushing again so scale down here i scale down here scaled a little bit there left it and also just remember do not yes um move your stop losses you know every time i scale i move my stop losses up but i mean yeah this is where you don't, don't leave your stop losses too. I mean, you scale down here, you leave it to run there. So I lose, I leave my stop loss just below the, the first target. And look at here, look at what happened. Price came down, just tapped at that bottom, didn't go into my stop loss area, and just carried on. So got a little trade to turn running. So guys, that's um, that's how I traded my British pound Japanese yen. I hope this makes sense. I'm um, going to make some more analysis, or not analysis, um, videos on, on showing you how I tackle the currency pace on a lower time frame. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, um, subscribe, click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more analysis coming your way. And uh, guys, I hope you are having a wonderful evening. Happy trading, guys.